Vietnam Veterans Memorial, 1955 to 1975. Twin Cities, Police, Larkspur, Corte Madera's. Oh man, but there's value. Look at all these. Look at all these. Emergency Medical Technician, Susan City, Fire Department. So Fire Department and Police. That's a fantastic first box. Brent Jones, number 84, 49ers. Fantastic, guys. Oh my goodness, this is De La Salle High School. Geo, oh, this is all their cars. I'm thinking that's gotta be 70s. Record is ours, it's De La Salle. That's another vintage hat right there. With the tag, hot dang, that's good. Oh, there's an old watch. Gridiron Legacy. That's actually a really, really nice trophy. It looks like a, almost like a gold-coated picture there. Let's see if there's any quarters inside. Okay, we got Will Clark. Yeah, that's cool too. We got good stuff here. Don Russ, 1990. That's not his rookie card. This might be. Michael Jordan baseball, there's two of them. There's the talking football game. Good morning, Locker Nuts, or at least it's morning right now. I don't know when you're watching it, but today is gonna be a good day. Why is that? Because it's locker time. I bought this locker right here. 800 bucks, online storage, auction, five by five, super small. We're gonna dig in it right now. Take a look, you ready? Yeah, we're not even messing around. We're getting right in this thing. Getting right in it. There's not that much here, guys, but 800 bucks is a lot of money. We spent 800 on it, plus fees. Okay, yeah, plus fees. So that's actually 880 bucks. 10% buyer's premium on an online auction. No sales tax, we have a sales tax license. Resale license, rather. So, um, yeah, what do we, what, I mean, really, that's it. They got one, two, three, four five six seven eight nine ten there's something back there eleven what's that a little box of something and there's a little bit of something back there too i don't know maybe a dozen 14 boxes 15 boxes maybe look at this look at this oh that's cool a little slot machine that is um that's one of the reasons i bought this thing and it said right on the storage auction listing slot machine ah dang bomber Oh, I'm not sure if that's working right. Plastic handle though, that's, that is a bummer. I thought this was gonna be, that seems, seems to be a cheap tin right there. Oh, okay, there we go. Lucky sevens, nope. That sounds really sad, that bell. I don't think it's supposed to sound quite like that, but I was hoping for an older piece. This is definitely a reproduction. Still kind of neat, though. But this right here is why I really went hard on it, on the locker, why I bid so much. Um, baseball cards right there. You can see it. There's some kind of football stuff there. And you see right there, NFL Pro Set and some baseball. It looks like 80 stuff, 90 stuff. I don't think that's terribly expensive, but it does suggest collector, right? Suggest collector. This right here says Dad. Dad, dad kind of like that it says pictures patches certificates oh what's this oh what the heck world trade center 2001 that's fallen heroes that's what they mean by patch i've never seen a patch that big before that's pretty impressive really a lot of embroidery went into that okay we got some certificates down there. Uh, all right, well, you know what, guys? Um, I don't want to get into that just yet. I did bring table, bins. I'm ready to go. We're ready to go. I just wanted to kind of look around. The gateway box right here, this gateway computer box, I believe. It's kind of neat. I don't think they've made those for a while. I might be wrong. This right here says garage. And, yeah, I don't know. I just kind of liked it. They look like older boxes, too. So, yes. Yeah, piqued my interest. Oh, what's this? Uh-oh. Okay. Joe Montana. I don't see a signature. Dream Team. It's got some statistics there. Frame piece. Joe Montana. Still kind of neat. That's kind of neat. What is it right here? Elvis? Elvis. All right. That's a tin, though. They framed the tin. The tin's pretty cool. Corvette parking only. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I have actually found one of those before. <laughs> All right, guys, there's some fun to be had here, right? Let's get into these boxes, see what we got. 880 bucks invested. One interesting 
I don't know, fact about this locker. I actually didn't win this locker. I bid 800 bucks. I put the bid in a little early, like a couple hours before it expired because I was going in the church. It was expiring while we were in church. So I put the bid in, I think it was at 410 when I went, when I left the house to go to church. As soon as I stepped out of church, I pulled my email up and it said, you've been outbid. 810 was the winning bid. I pulled it up 810 bucks, so I didn't get it. Later on that day, I was thinking, oh, that's too bad. That looked like it was kind of interesting. I really want to see if there's some sports cards in there. But oh, well, maybe I should bid 900. And I'm like, no, what am I talking about? 800 100 bucks was too much what you know no I'm fine I'm fine I'm fine there's other lockers and then one day later uh, so Monday I got a notice that they gave me a backup offer basically so they offered me to buy this at 800 bucks I believe what happened is the winning buyers credit card declined so they didn't get the fees charged to them so then they uh, they lose the locker basically so I got it for 800 I would definitely like to have gotten it for 600 so but it is what it is we've got it now let's get into it all right, guys, we're going to set up a little station right here to work so we can not have to bend down too much. Here's a nice little table I got recently. Not huge, but um, actually it's in pretty nice condition. Not for long. <laughs> Let's see what else Dad's got here. Okay, look at this. United States Marine Corps Honorable Discharge. That's kind of neat. 1980. Huh. I'm actually going to put that aside. We'll get that back to the owners. We might reuse this box as a uh, give back, you know, give back to the office. That patch we'll put aside. That's definitely a nicer piece. Okay. Huh. It's an old Marine photo right there. I'm assuming Marines, but military photo. More. Oh, Highway Patrol Academy. Look at that. Very cool. 1973. That's neat. Oh my goodness. This has a uh, Vietnam Veterans Memorial. 1955 to 1975. How neat. So the, what they did, this is a, uh, what do you call it, a, a rubbing? I forget what you call it, but they went to the memorial in Washington, D.C., and they took uh, a pencil and they rubbed on it because it's it's actually uh, raised, or I think the memorial is raised, so they put the paper on it and rubbed it and did a transfer that way. Wow. Okay. Maybe one of their family members served and died in Vietnam. Wow. Okay, that's very cool. Definitely getting that back. Try to get that back to the owner. All we can do is give it to the office, and all the office can do is, is reach out. After that, it's up to them. They got to do their part and come get it. Uh, this right here, Department of uh, Highway Patrol. How neat. This is this is cool stuff. Definitely, there's some there's some there's a story here, right? There's a story here. Highway Patrol. No. Office of the Sheriff, Contra Costa County. Nice coffee mug there. Ooh, that's neat. Oh, look at all these patches. Oh, guys, this is this is good. Okay, now I'm getting excited. That's some family photos. Get that back. Ooh, look at this. Okay, then this Texas Ranger. That's just a little souvenir piece, but it is metal. It's kind of neat, but it's nothing. City of Los Banos Police. These are police badges. San Ramon Police. That's where I live. San Ramon. Pleasant Hill Police. They must have collected police badges. Martinez, these are all local cities here. Twin Cities Police, Larkspur, Corte Madera, this is in the North Bay. Public Safety Department. This is cool. Another coffee mug. U University of California Police, Berkeley. Here's a Corvette manual. <laughs> so definitely they had a Corvette at some point, huh? 2007. There might be a little value in the Corvette. Oh man, but there's value. Look at all these patches. There's some value there. Another, uh, oh, this is Walnut Creek Police now. Different coffee mug. Class 153. Not sure what that's for. Highway Patrol coffee mug. The coffee mugs I'm not as excited about. Highway Patrol, they're cool. There might be a little value there, but I don't think it's big money. A little hard to deal with these two because they break. Harder to ship. Marine Corps, coffee mug. Okay, but these, look at all of these. Emergency Medical Technician, Contra Costa Fire District, Sunnyvale, Long Beach Police, Los Angeles. Nice. Look at all these patches. Stockton, <laughs> that's where we go to the flea market. Moraga, U.S. Border Patrol, Alameda County Sheriff, El Dorado County Sheriff's Office, California Department of Justice. I'm not going to go through all these guys, but I just want to give you... Look at some of this stuff. Elk Grove Police. Wow. Nuisance Abatement, City of Sacramento. U.S. Customs, Department of Justice. This is fantastic, really. Police, Susan City, Fire Department. So Fire Department and Police. 
Sheriffs, all this stuff is good. BART Police, that's our mass transit here in the Bay Area. Sacramento Fire Department, American Flag. Santa Clara Fire Department. Look at the back of that, it looks a little bit older. Or maybe like it was attached to something. Cal Exico Police. Del Norte County, I don't know where that is. Yolo County, that's California. Contra Costa. This is great stuff, guys. This is a really nice collection here. Special Agent, Department of Justice. Oakland Police. So my brother-in-law was on the Oakland Police before he retired. That's super cool. Mill Valley Police. Pleasanton Police. Um, Sonoma County Corn or Coroner's Office. <laughs> it's a little different. Antioch Police. Orinda, San Francisco. This is great. Antioch. Look at all these patches. I think there's got to be 50 patches here. Petaluma, please. I think these patches, honestly, I think, I don't want to be too overly optimistic, but I'm thinking five bucks a patch is probably pretty fair. Probably fair. If there's 50 patches, we might have 250 bucks in patches right here. I don't know, am I off on my five dollars a patch? I don't think so. All right, I might be off on my 50 count. There might be more. I don't think there's less. Sheriff Michael, another little souvenir badge. Corvette Museum. Is that a little decal or something? I've never seen this before. It says traffic template. It's got little trucks and cars and stuff. Huh. And there's an old postcard. Oh, I love it. Chevrolet dealer. This is a, this is a good one. 1958 on that. Chevrolet dealer postcard. That There's some collectability to this for sure. We've got some clipboards here. It's kind of nice. It's got the ruler built onto it. Uh, millimeters and inches here. That's a neat piece. That's a fantastic first box, honestly. That is great. I mean, a little bit of personal stuff we're gonna be getting back to there. No value there, but the other stuff, good, good value. I mean, I think with all the other stuff we found in that box, coffee cups, Corvette manual, I'm thinking 250. 250, I don't know, guys. Let's just say 200 to be safe, on the safe side. 200 bucks so far in stuff. Of course, we gotta sell it, but we're off to a great start. Okay, all right. I see Steve Young right there. What's this? Got football. Brent Jones, number 84, 49ers. Fantastic, guys. Fantastic. Love that. Love that. That's a live ink signature right there. That's good. <laughs> oh, get excited quick. Steve Young. I mean, that's, there's no signature on it, so it's just a nice little plaque with this card on it and the portrait, but it's not like big, big money, but it's just cool. Ooh, what's this? Ah, Tecmo Bowl. This is a video game. Nintendo, but it's just a box. Football Digest 1994. Huh, I hope we find the video games in there. That would be fantastic. Sports Illustrated Magazine. This is Pride and Tradition. Oh my goodness, this is De La Salle High School. De La Salle is a very famous high school. It's close to us. And uh, they have a renowned football team, right? I mean, I think it's known, I wouldn't say world-renowned, but definitely across the U.S. 1994, that's a good book right there. I wouldn't be surprised if there's some successful athletes in here because uh, they have so much talent that goes through their school. That we're going to have to put aside. That is probably an eBay listing there because it's De La Salle. Okay, algebra? I don't think so. There won't be too much value there. What's this? Corvette. I feel like I'm opening this for the first time here. I also feel like it's gotten wet or something over the years. Yeah, it's gotten wet. Ah, bummer. It's kind of ruined. It's just a Corvette brochure, but it's gotten wet and it's sticking to the, the, the envelope. All right, what else we got? Okay, it's 49ers. Uh, that's a little cush seat cushion right there, 49ers. It's cool. We'll sell them the garage sale probably. We'll be doing a garage sale this weekend at my mom's house. All right. What's this? 1992 Chevrolet Suburban 1992 Geo. Oh, this is all their cars. Bummer, that Corvette is probably meant to go in here. 1992. There's there's 1992 Corvette right there. Ooh, the new Camaro 1992. That's funny. Ah, that this is some neat stuff. 1988 new product album. It's a lot of GM stuff here. Classic American sports car. What are these? These are postcards, I think. Corvette, 54 Corvette, 1960 Corvette, 64 co or 61 Corvette. This is Corvette. There's a 65 Corvette. That's beautiful. Okay, let's see what's in this one. And that's exactly what it looked like. <laughs> 
So this is a nice sink fixture. All right, decent. It's just gonna go to the flea market. Next box. <laughs> I did that again. Is this table tall or what? Uh, it's, uh, something's off about that. Maybe I'm just off. Okay. Don't comment. No comment, please. Don't comment on it. <laughs> I know there's probably a lot of opinions about that. Okay, Team Cheerios. I know these cereal boxes are somewhat collectible. It's funny. The last time I found a bunch of cereal boxes in a locker, a guy had a bunch of sports cards. Okay, a little Giants ticket. Okay, what's this? What's this? Okay, <laughs> just a graduation cap and gown. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. De La Salle High School Spartans. Nice little code. Oh, what's this? His pants are down. Let's give him a little dignity. Pull them pants up. That is an old plush. Whatever that is. Kmar. Right there. I don't see a date, but I'm thinking that's got to be 70s. Definitely looks 70s. That's a cool piece right there. I'll put him aside. De La Salle. Season highlights. You know what? I'm going to get that back to the family. Oh, got some old baseball caps here. Okay, a little troll. On a surfboard. <laughs> yeah, this uh, bin is like, this is an older bin. It's a tote, rather. The plastic is just like kind of cracking and disintegrating a little bit. A little bracelet. Okay, what do we got here? Stussy with an eight ball. Record is ours. It's De La Salle football. Ooh, that's nice. Super Bowl 25. Bills and Giants, huh? That's a neat piece right there. And you know what? It doesn't even look worn. I don't see sweat stains on it. That's a vintage hat for sure. That is a nice piece. Oh, this is maybe nicer. 1994 NFC champions. This is San Francisco 49ers. Team NFL. Oh, yeah, that's good stuff. This one, B. Ooh, that one's pretty roached. There's another 49ers. CR, what's that? Crown Royals? No. No, what's that? CR, what? It's baseball, whatever it is. New era. That's another vintage hat right there. Um, there's another Niners hat. That's got the tag still. That's a brand new vintage hat right there. Number one apparel made in the USA. That's a good, I think that's a good hat right here. It looks a little dusty and dirty, but I don't think it's been worn. With the tag, hot dang, that's good. Wow, they wore that one a little bit. <laughs> what? Gross. Professional baseball. That one, I might let that go to the <laughs> garage sale. So I don't even want to touch that. It's gross. Maybe the Stussy I'll let go too. The rest of these, uh, these are these are going to be put aside, guys. So the best stuff that we find, the better stuff, you see I'm sorting in my bins here. The better stuff we put into live auctions, all right? And I think we've got a whatnot auction plan coming up here soon. If you guys aren't familiar with whatnot, this definitely right here. This pendant's a little roll you know it was rolled not so well when i ship these i usually roll them pretty gently but that's a super bowl 1991 it's 32 years old right here 32 years old it's actually copyright 89 there but it's to promote the super bowl 1991 that's a neat piece we will probably put that on our whatnot auction if you guys haven't seen whatnot if you haven't tried it out it's a live streaming app that is made for live auctions okay and we've been doing it for a while now i'm kind of new to the game there but we've been doing a few and they've been going fantastic and some of the better stuff here that's probably where we're gonna put it all right we do sell on ebay too we do sell at garage sales we sell at flea markets we sell a lot of different places but um the best stuff the best stuff is going to go into our live auctions it's a yearbook and that's a yearbook and san francisco 49ers calendar and that's a de la salle yearbook there all right guys we're going to take a break from the video real quick because i want to just remind you if you haven't heard yet we are back on what not what not's a great live streaming auction app for your phone for your tablet you can also use a computer, but it's really built for mobile devices and it's built for live auctions. That's why it works so great. We're able to run some really fun auctions where we do them really quick. We spread them out by like 20 seconds and we're just going bang, bang, bang. We sell, I actually just cleared the shelves here or the tables, except for the cat, she wasn't in the auction, but uh, these were full of stuff that we put in whatnot and I cleared them, I packed them and I just got back from the post office shipping them. We sold 159 lots plus a bunch of buy it now stuff that we have set up in our store on whatnot. 
And I'll tell you, like, people had a great time. I, I, I think most everyone did from what we heard. People are really loving it, and we sure are loving it. Let me show you up here what it kind of looks like, the WhatNot app and uh, being part of an auction. Here's some, sh you know, me navigating through it a little bit and watching some of the auctions going on. There's auctions going on 24 seven, all sorts of stuff being sold right now. But my favorite is of course the storage auction and estate sale category because that's where we are. It's more of a variety show and you never know what's gonna come up for sale. In fact, earlier today I saw someone auctioning off a big stack of signed Star Trek memorabilia, like pictures and stuff. It's so cool. And um, <laughs> I mean, we sell cool stuff too, but I just saw that and I was just like, man, that is a great find and a great item to put up for auction. But um, please come and check us out. We're gonna be putting some of the stuff that you see in this video up on whatnot for sale. So if you like sports cards and you like police memorabilia and that kind of stuff, definitely come check out whatnot, all right? The next show is coming up soon. I'll put a link in this video to it so you can go and find it. If you've never signed up before, we're gonna give you $15 of free spending credit, all right? And I say we, it's not really me, it's whatnot. They're giving you 15 bucks to spend for free just for trying out their app, all right? And if you guys are interested in selling on whatnot, there's a link for that too. If you use our link, you're gonna get a fast track approval on your application to sell on whatnot. Anyone can do it. It's super simple and it's super fun. But guys, come by and check out our next auction and uh, you'll recognize some of the stuff that came out of this video and still to come out of this video. So right now, let's get back to it. This piece right here is missing the battery cover. Unfortunately, it's a little pocket radio. I think I'll put it aside, but without the battery cover, it's gonna limit the value. Okay, here's some cards, guys. First cards that we found. Oh, I'm locking it almost fills them onto the ground. So I threw it on the ground. <laughs> if you guys know, then you know. Um, this one, 1996, not exactly a rare, not exactly. But still some sports cards. Okay. Jared's room right here. Jared's room. A little placard for the door. Oh, there's an old watch. With the football scene on it. That's cool. Jared. Jeff Garcia. Oh. Look at this. Budweiser. Gridiron Legacy. That's actually really cool. Oh, it's numbered too. Min Brazil by Sarah, Sarah Mart. 1990 Anheuser-Busch. There's some collectability to these beer mugs or beer steins or whatever you call it. I'm going to put that aside. That's a cool piece. Uh, <laughs> look at that. An old class uh, ID. Okay, it's a trophy. Football trophy. De La Salle, 1993. That's actually a really, really nice trophy. Okay, another bin done. Okay, that's some sort of, uh, looks like a, almost like a gold-coated picture there. It says, so proudly we hail, right there. It's a nice piece. Just gonna go to the uh, garage sale. Cause I don't ship stuff like that. I try not to. Okay, what's this? U.S. Marine Corps Recruiting Services. What's that? That's like an old, an old advertising sign for the Marines. That's neat. About the artist, Tom Butler. Oh, it says Tom Butler right there, signed. That's a, that's a little different. I'm gonna put that aside, actually. I kinda like that. I like any kind of art and stuff. Corvette, some graph paper from the 1997 Corvette launch. I might put that with our other paper. Okay, we've got a lot of posters here. Ooh, Brickyard 400, Monte Carlo. Ooh, that's a beautiful poster. It's got some metallic ink, 1994 too. It's vintage, it's in great condition. There's another one, NASCAR stuff, right? Is that NASCAR? I don't know what that is, but it's Racing, Brickyard 400. This is pretty cool. They're in great condition. Okay, we're gonna put those in an auction, I think. I think we'll, we'll auction these. There might be some value here. More of these same. Okay, good. What's this? Oops, look at, there's a bunch of stuff in here. I don't think I wanna get that out right now. They're in there pretty good, but it looks like it's more car racing. And then here's another poster. This is not, this is something different. List of Manifest of Alien Passengers for the U.S. Immigration Officer at Port of Arrival. What the heck? I do not know what that's for. 1905. I would think it's probably something to do with their family record or something. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. 
Certificate of Authenticity, Liberty Ellis Island. Huh. This document is a digital image of either an authentic ship manifest page or a photograph or drawing of one of the ships that transported immigrants to Ellis Island and the Port of New York between 1892 and 1924. I don't know why you'd want to own that though, unless it's your family. Um, seems a little random to me, but I don't know. We'll bring it to the garage sale, I guess. I don't know. Is that an auction piece? I don't think so. I don't think so. Probably something like that should go on eBay, but I just don't think it's big money. All right, there's Dale Earnhardt framed picture right there. It's cool. Whatever. Whatever. American Revolution, another Corvette piece right here. We'll put that aside. A little bit more family photos. And a little bit more posters. Ooh, these are Corvette ones. Vintage 1992. It's cool. All right, another box done. Okay, get this out of here. And moment of truth, guys. It does take quarters, it looks like. Let's see if there's any quarters inside. <laughs> nope, it's empty. It's way too quiet for that, so I don't think there's anything good in there. But that's still a cool piece. Probably will be selling that at the uh, garage sale. And the garage sale is this coming weekend, so we're gonna try to film that, share it with you guys. Let's get this one. Bungee corded closed. Oh. So we got a blanket on top. Oh, ooh, ooh. Look at this, guys. Slabbed up cards. That's Will Clark right there. That might be a little value right there. I see another one right there. Okay, first, what is this? Oh, this is, this is, uh, oh, okay. This is uh, some plushies right here. I see Garfield, I see a 49ers. I thought that was a blanket. Maybe there's a blanket there. We'll open that in a second. Go through that in a second. Okay. Look at that. Franklin Future Champs right there. Bo Jackson. <laughs> I don't see a date on that. That's definitely a vintage little football. I think it qualifies as a plush. I don't know. Another football. Wilson. Oh, does that say Joe Montana? Do you guys see that? Does that say Joe Montana on it? It does look like it could. I don't know. It definitely looks like it could. I hope that's making it on the camera. Okay. Oh my goodness, guys. I see garbage peel kids in here too. This is uh, this is turning to be a pretty good locker. Okay, we got Will Clark. We got another Will Clark. We got another Will Clark. We got another Will Clark. This guy's a huge Will Clark fan. Will Clark. Will Clark. A little thing of the bobbers are falling out. And okay, then look at all these garbage pail kids. 1987. So these were he started in 1985. So 1986 on that one. Um. Yeah, that's cool too. We got good stuff here. <laughs> we got good stuff. I love finding these. But these are not the older ones, but that doesn't mean that we're not going to find some older ones in here. Here's some more. Luke Puke. See the number 170B. It's a later one. 1986. Travel and Travis. That is so gross. Burt Cage. Ooh, this is good. I mean, it's it's, it's pretty good. They're, they're not in great shape. You see the condition right there. We'll probably just put a, a large lot of these in our auction and sell them. You know, if they were the earlier ones, we'd sell them individually or in small groups. But because they're later ones, we're just gonna put them in big lots. There's a little mini one right there. Look at this. Electronic talking play-by-play -play football user's manual. That's a vintage handheld uh, video game. 1987 right there. That's pretty neat. I hope I find that. So it looks like we're gonna have to spend a little time separating this stuff up. We have football, we have baseball, and we have garbage pail. I'm the most excited about the garbage pail. <laughs> the Will Clark's cool too though. Oh, look at this, all garbage pails down here. That one's just 391, I think. It's getting to be later years. 165, all garbage, well no, there's a baseball card, but mostly garbage pail down here. Garbage pail galore, this is great. KO'd Cody. <laughs> okay guys, this stuff's gonna have to go home and we'll have to sort it out. It's good. This stuff might be a little better. There might be some value in the Will Clark cards there though. <sighs> Woohoo, this is some good stuff. Alrighty, we're doing pretty good with this locker. Oh, okay, look at this. That's the sealed pack right there. Don Russ, 1990, sealed pack. I don't think 1990 is that desirable, but anything sealed is good. Uh, I mean, somewhat good, right? Has some value, a little bit more value. Have we seen our 800 bucks in value yet? I think we might have. I don't know, maybe not. Mark McGuire, well, frame print, nothing big. Another yearbook. Oops, got a little card in there though. <laughs> okay, this is good. Cards. Yes, ooh, and nice sleeves too. Okay, what do we got here? 
Ben McDonald, Andrew Ware, An Eric Anthony, Ricky Henderson. Oh, if that's his rookie card, that could be worth a few bucks. Is that his rookie card? Wait, there's two. That's not his rookie card. This might be Fleer. No, not his rookie card. It's got a bunch of seasons on it, but it's cool. I don't know my cards, guys. There's only a few cards that I know are going to have some value. There's King Griffey Jr., Will Clark. In fact, he put in these little plastics is kind of nice, but there's another Will Clark. Wade Boggs, Matt Williams, Jim Abbott. There's King Griffey Jr., Will Clark, Jose Canseco. Canseco. We have some rookie cards would be great. I just don't know really which ones are the rookie cards, so we have to research a little bit. Do I have time for that? Not really. There's Daryl Strawberry. Oh, Bo Jackson right there. That's nice. It's another Bo Jackson. Michael Jordan card right there. <laughs> Michael Jordan baseball. There's two of them. That could be worth a little bit. We got some football. Barry Sanders, all pro. Jeff George, rookie card. Barry Sanders, pro bowl. Nice. Okay, this is good. Yeah, baby. Fun stuff here. Jana's going to be excited. She likes going through this stuff. Oh, there it is. There's the talking football game. This might have some value. Let's try to look that up and put it on the screen if there's a comp on that. 1986 video technology. It's a talking football video technology right there. Bears versus rhinos. <laughs> okay. 91 Acura. Another product manual, uh, vehicle manual. All right. A little bit of value there. I mean, potential, potential value. Right? I don't know if it is or not. Okay, now the box of cards. Yes. Look at all these cards, guys. Look at all these cards right here. Do you see that? That's massive amounts of cards. Hmm. We're not going to go through that right now. I don't even know what I'm looking for, but I'm going to assume that the ones he put in the sleeves are the better ones. And this is more just the mass quantity, but someone's going to want to go through that stuff. I don't, maybe we even sell it just like that. We could. We might. I'm not against it. Okay, I almost forgot. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay. Garfield. Look at that. He's got a little catcher's mitt. Catcher's mitt looks like it's a little chewed up, though. Maybe a mouse or something got in there. I don't know. But um, that's too bad because these are somewhat collectible. 1981 on that Garfield. 1981. Just wish he was in a little better condition. Look at this one. Boxer. Mike Tyson. I don't know if it's Mike Tyson, but his nose is a little worn there. So again, not perfect condition there, but still super cool. There's definitely people who look for these. Here's a vintage, another uh, football guy. We had the other one that looked just like him. Here's another one. And this one's dressed in 49er gear. Copyright Kmar, just like the other one, Kmar. That's cool. Uh, that's a 49er guy, prospector guy. Maybe some value here. 1983, guys. Trudy Toys. Trudy Toys Company. Trudy's, there's the logo right there. Trudy. All right, I don't know what that is. That's just a like faded dog. He's all faded out. PP Pet Pals or something by Tonka. That one's pretty well faded. I'm gonna let that go to the V Raw sale. It's a little 49er. That's a vintage. I don't even know what that is. It's like a puffy mat of some sort. What's that for? I don't know. NFL. It's definitely vintage. San Francisco 49er. Oh, that's like a new old stock beach towel right there. That's actually pretty cool. 30 by 60 inch beach towel. That's that's pretty cool. I like it. <laughs> it's some fun stuff. Um, this locker so far is everything that I hoped it would be, honestly. This is, oh, look at this. Corvette. Oh, man, this is some good looking stuff back here. What's this? <laughs> I can't help it. I got to pull it out. Klein. Okay, that's their name, I think. California Pat Highway Patrol. But, oh, this is really neat. Concord Police. We're in Concord right now, actually. Um, this is their ticket book. There's got to be some collectability to this. That is really cool. That's a very cool piece right there. Highway Patrol uh, stuff, I think, is pretty collectible. I think it is. I mean, I, I honestly, I don't think I've ever found any. So I can't say with any expertise that it's, that it's collectible. Oh, there's a bunch of more 49er stuff. Yeah. Hey. Check and see if it's, yep, and it is, 49ers. Vintage 49er blanket, wow. Okay, I'm hoping that this stuff does well in our live auctions, um, but I don't know. That's neat. There's a vintage uh, 49ers piggy bank right there. 1985, Man, it's made in Italy, what the heck, that's pretty cool. Yeah, guys, so far, it's like, I'm probably the good stuff is outweighing the straight to the flea market or garage sale stuff. A little thermos there. A tumbler by Russ. 
Okay. What is this? Spring flowers. It's got the little calendar on it. I don't, I don't think that's anything special. Old 49er ball. <laughs> this is cool. These little trolleys. These are definitely collectible. Cross collectible. So you got 49ers and you got troll collectors. That's cute. And the prospector dude. A little ornament. And these little suction cups go in the window. It's all kinds of 49er stuff. That's why they call them fanatics. Button. 1988. What's this? Okay. I don't know about this. Oh, okay, now we're gonna find out. But it does look like this is a real piece of art. No, it's a it's a limited print. 894 out of a thousand. It's probably signed though by the artist. Okay, and what do we got here? And Annie Lyle Visor. Yep, that's the name. Huh. That's kind of neat. We'll have to look that up and see if that's got any significant value. All right, guys, let's get this bin out right here because this is, uh, uh, that says Jason's Trophies. I don't like that. <laughs> not too much value in trophies, especially not from the 90s. Whoa, table's about to give out right here. Here we go. Okay, that's why I bought the locker right here. Let's see what's in it. Let's see. Ooh, lots of sports cards. Lots of sports cards. Yes. More sports cards. <laughs> I say that only like somewhat enthusiastically because I'm not a big sports card guy. But we've got buyers for cards, so I'm going to be excited about uh, finding stuff for our buyers. That is a sealed pack right there, 1991. That's decent. Upper deck, sealed, brand new. Mm -hmm. This one right here is same, but it is not sealed. Nice. I'm not going to touch them. All right, I'm not gonna touch him. We'll put it right there. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, Jose Canseco. Whole page for him. And then here we got some random stuff. Okay. Rolly Fingers. That's cool. Dave Stewart, Dave Henderson, Kirby Puckett. All right, guys. I don't, like I said, I don't really know what to look for, but it looks kind of decent. Mr. MVP. There's a little. Uh, baseball mitt, but it looks like the kids signed it. All right, what do we got here? Oh, this is good. More sleeved up cards. Ken Griffey Jr. right there. Mark McGuire. Ken Griffey. There's a Michael Jordan card. I think we've had that card before. It's a Coca-Cola card. Mark McGuire. Again, if we have some rookies in here, it might be a little bit better. But Joe Montana. Mark McGuire. Mm, okay. Bo Jackson right there again. There's a Ken Griffey Jr. Wait a second. Is that his rookie card? Because it doesn't have any of his professional career there. His major league career. Is that his rookie? Guys, that could be worth some money. There's another young Ken Griffey. What the heck? That could be good. There's another one. So there he's got one year with the Mariners. So not a rookie, I don't think. There's Ricky Henderson. Another Ricky Henderson. Ah, uh, there's... With this many cards and this much decent looking stuff, I think we're going to have some rookies, right? Okay. I think this is very interesting. More sleeved up ones. Football, football, football. 1990. It says rookie though. Are those all rookie cards? Huh. What's this? PGA. Huh. Okay, got a whole set of PGA cards. Some Ricky Henderson cards there. These are sleeved up. They got the little plastic sleeves. Maybe they're better. Ooh, this one's better. Uh oh, got some basketball. Basketball maybe is a little better. Tim Hardaway. Nope, just one basketball. This is rookies. King Griffey Jr. rookies. There's a Michael Jordan card. Okay, guys, this is. I I'm very happy right now. This is just enough good stuff to make me happy. Yeah, happy meaning for the 880 bucks I put into it. Football. A whole bunch more football here. What's this? Don Russ. Okay, big set of them. There's some loose ones. Barbara Streisand. Hmm. It just doesn't seem like, I don't know, it doesn't seem like you'd be a Barbara Streisand fan. But what do I know? Oh, here's a sealed pack right here. Super Bowl 25 cards. Silver anniversary commemorative card set. That's cool. 
like finding anything that's sealed brand new. Here's another sealed brand new. Conlon collection. All right. Postcard, 1994. And this is what I saw in the through the transparent plastic there. I knew it was some football stuff, but it's just like some Bud Light cards. I'm not even sure what these are. I think they're table toppers. Or table, what do you call them? Table tents or whatever you call them. They just pop out and sit on the table. It might be a little collectability. I don't know. There's Santa Claus, the head coach. That's a little silliness. There's a base for something that's broken. Football cards here, 1991. Looks like there's sealed. A couple sealed. Yeah, those are sealed, those two. Okay. 1992 ticket for the 49ers versus the Buccaneers. What's this? A sign. Ronnie Lott. That's cool. It's too bad it's all messed up. Oh, this, we had a few of these. We had one that's signed by Steve Young just recently. This Department of Forestry. That's cool. Found another one. <laughs> okay. It's another one of those Conlon collections right there. Brand new. All right, then here it looks like it's all loose cards. So we're not going to go through those. Okay, guys. It's all loose cards. I have a feeling these boxes are going to be all the loose, like the common stuff. So it looks like, and then uh, the nicer stuff, I think you put in sleeves and in there, but of course there's a good chance you probably miss some stuff in these boxes, but what's this? Oh, funny, there's Bill Ripken, and uh, th we just sold this card the other day in our live auction also, and this is the error card, so if you can see that, it's a little inappropriate, So, but it does say cuss words on his bat right there they didn't catch that when they printed it so they had to reprint it and this is one of the air they call it the error cards right i think it's considered an error card that's cool we found that it's another i think those are worth about 50 bucks or so what's this stuff okay some magazines let's hope for some autographs here huh these are in tough condition i don't know what this stuff is something to do with the olympics all right guys the rest of the boxes here just have loose cards in them I'm not going to go through those because I don't even know what I'm looking for. Um, but cool, right? That's a great box. I mean, come on. we got to have probably what? I mean, if we don't find any rookie cards, if we just have like regular decent stuff, we still got a couple hundred bucks here, right? We have to. And if we have some of those special cards, the ones, you know, a, a rookie card or something a little bit more rare and valuable, we might have four or five, six hundred bucks right here. I think that's not like high, high estimate. I think that's pretty fair. It's pretty good. Look at this. Box is a little dusty, but uh, Maisto. This is kind of like the ones we found earlier, only these are still in the box. This is going to be way better, way more valuable. $47.95 was the tag. It's item 216306. There's, there's definitely a collector market for these kinds of cars.